uh, it's been a bit since I've been here, so I don't know what the price is like anymore, because obviously everything's gone up. Um, so we're in Mere side, which is, say, which is a local council estate, which to me doesn't look that bad. But I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. I've lived in a lot worse. No bombed out cars. Yeah. For those of you who, who come from Telford, I obviously, I was brought up on Sutton Hill in Telford, so this is practically like Beverly Hills compared to where I come from. God, what the hell is that? What? That I saw. That building. Well, that's one of these council buildings. I saw. Yeah. But this is the chip that I'm going to take you to now. Under the ISO. Under the ISO. There you go. Mere side chippy. It's a bit of a track out the way if you're a tourist, but if you've got a car, it's actually well worth it. So you can see it just there. Well, right. Signs have been better days. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to come up towards the windmill. 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 Windmill we'll, spotting. We'll check. Oh, oh yeah, him. Right, so we're coming up towards the windmill. We're still on Mia side at the moment. Is this what it's called uh, Windyke Farm because of the windmill and wind and stuff like that? Possibly, possibly. If anybody knows if it's that the reason, please write in the comments below. I have no idea myself, it just makes logical sense. I'll tell you what, that would be brilliant. Whoa. That would be brilliant to turn into a house. I could just imagine living in that other house. Uh, Jonathan Creek. Oh, that'd be so cool. Right, so how do I get out of here? Uh, the the point of... mm. Do we go this way? Obviously not. Uh, obviously not. No, definitely not that way. Definitely not that way. So I say we're still driving around Mere side. Uh, and as for me, this is actually probably one of the better council estates that I've ever come across. It seems to be very clean. Well maintained. I personally can't see anything wrong with it. Uh, we're getting close to Cherry Tree, aren't we? Yeah, it's all right down there. So I assume we turn left here. Yeah, I'd highly recommend it. Yep. There's your big Tesco, the big boy Tesco. Very close to the big boy Asda. Yeah, Asda's just down there on the right hand side. And it's Langdale, I believe. What's that? The road. Langdale Road. Oh, yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a sign there. We're on Langdale Road at the moment. <laughs> There's the sign. Langdale. You're a clever boy, then. And now we're going to head back towards where we're going. More new oh, buildings. I don't like the look of that. Really? Really? Yeah, I like the look of Oh, them. God, I don't. They look horrible. I like the old Victorian style look. Oh, you could never be a bit Victorian. Right, let's have a look at the uh, cost of petrol and diesel here. Uh, I can't see, can you see? It's Seven, a bit cheaper here. Yeah? 17.9 by the look of it. 177 point something. The yeah, diesel. it's like nine. Is it? Well, it's a little bit cheaper than it was down there. So, for those of you who don't really know where we are, when you're driving into Blackpool on the M55, the, the first turning that you see with the Blackpool side that says Blackpool uh, South Shore of this or North Shore or something, it says Blackpool something, yeah. The first turning that says Blackpool, this is the turning here. But most people go past that turning, which takes them onto Eden Way. So we're kind of a turning up from there. If that makes sense, that makes sense to you? Yeah. Okay, that's all right then. I'm trying to get people to understand where we are geographically. It's the turn off next to the big field. That's there the one. Go. Which is Windhoek Farm, isn't it? Which is Windhoek Farm. Yeah. Which is where they do the car boot sales. Do they still do the car boot sales there? Nope. What? Nope. No more car boots. Oh, why? Am I in the right lane anyway? Yeah. Okay. And the field is freshly cut. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're the build up will be nice and clean. Okay, so what we're going to do now, this is the M55, but we're not going to go that way. We're going to cross over and we're going to go now go down the Eden Way. Which is the way where most people will know when they come in. There's a lot of green stuff out 
See, we've come to Booker's before. It was Helen's crowd allowed. Okay, we're not saying his name again. Okay? Leroy, Leroy, where yeah. are you? I don't know if her name could be Helen because it was his wife and she was Russian. Apparently. That I'd, never sat right, did it? It didn't. It, nobody called. Nobody. Sven Lana or something like that, yeah. Sven Lana. Sven Lana. It's not like a Russian porn star. But you don't call a Russian Helen, do you? It just doesn't. I don't know. Just doesn't sound right to me. Anyway, that we were circumventing there slightly. It's like you're talking rubbish, like normal. So now we're heading towards Squires Gate Lane. Hey, tarmac. Tarmac. What are you going on about? Oh, just miles and miles of tarmac. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to talk about trees. That's a pretty tree. That's nice and green. It's <laughs> another pretty tree. And there's lots of pretty trees here. Yeah, there you go, viewers. Trees. Trees. So we do have trees in Blackpool, only on the outside of Blackpool, though. So if you do need to get any petrol, uh, while we're talking about petrol and stuff like that, uh, the cheapest, as a general rule, and uh, is Morrison's. And we're just going to go past Morrison's up here. And we're not being paid for by petrol, and there are other petrol stations out there, viewers. But from my experience in Blackpool, the cheapest is from Morrison. So if you're coming back home and you need to fill up, instead of going along Eden Way where there's a petrol station there, which I find quite expensive, if you come along to the end of the seafront and follow the, the signs to the M55, you'll pass the Morrison's and you will save petrol by going there if you can do it with a tank full. Even though I live by the petrol station uh, at the end of Eden Way, I will wait till the tank's nearly empty and then I'll come up here and uh, fill up the petrol. Could it just make sense? 